Hey everybody, Comics for Thomas here. Um, long time since I've done a video, uh, or at least it feels like um, I've been working a lot over the uh, last two or three months, uh, working a bit of a different shift, so it's been hard for me to uh, take any time to uh, to record any content. So, um, But I have been building up a, a little stack of books. You can actually see them right down here. Um, so I wanted to, to show those off. Um, I'm back to my normal my normal work shift, so I can be a little bit more consistent at least, and not have, uh, have piles uh, piles of comics sitting around my room. I'm just waiting to be shown. So I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, I've got some really really great covers and stuff lately, so I'm actually looking forward for you guys to see this. So, so I'm going to start with Moths number one. I'll try to get the light out here. I can't remember who does this cover, but it's very, very nice. Um, I'm not getting this run. Um, I just saw this cover and pre-ordered it. My um, love for Jenny Frizen. This is a Noctera number four. Again, I do not have this run. Never have never read any of it yet. Um, no idea if it's any good, but that's a great cover. Some fantastic covers here. This is issue three of Vengeance. Obviously, issue number one I do not have, um, and that's the big one um, where it's a first appearance of, I think, America Chavez. This is number five. Awesome cover. Look at that. A little bit of doom for number six. I've been putting together uh, the two volumes of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, this is Dustin Weaver. Uh, I mentioned this before, his art, and I'm really a fan. Very, very cool covers. I haven't read any of them yet. Um, I probably will at some point once I've put together. Um, they're they're basically like little mini series, so it's not going to be much to, to put them all together. I was able to grab issue number four as well. That's awesome. A little bit of glare at the bottom. And then my lady. Lady Mechanica, um, this is issue number 5B, uh, I think this is for the, the volume 1, it's a nice B cover. This is issue number 4, these are not in order obviously. And issue number 1, this is 1A of volume 1. I recently I had borrowed from a friend uh, volume 1. I haven't been able to read all of them because I don't have all. Like I'm putting together all the issues, every single issue um, that Lady McKenna is involved in, um, but I don't have them all, even like B's and, and C covers and stuff, to be able to read them all. Um, I did read a little bit on Comixology once, and then I don't know. I can't get Comixology to work for me anymore, so I just didn't bother. But um, she had Volume One, so I borrowed hers and, and read Volume One. It was fantastic, and I just can't wait to. To get them all, and this cover is just this is this is the best one, uh, the best cover for Lady Mechanica that I have so far. Um, this is for uh, I don't know what volume this is. Um, the title of it is La Dama de la Muerte, um, so it could be like volume three or four or whatever. Um, but and this is the two B. Look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. It's Joe Benitez, and he is fantastic. I love it. Love it. Um, I've been putting together uh, the miniseries for Reborn. This is the Dragon cover variant. Fantastic. And the Sword variant, which is even better. Look at that. That looks like a painting. And I love it. just it's so easy. Just there's a dragon in this. It's called the dragon variant. There's a sword in this one. It's called the sword variant. Perfect. I've never heard of this series. Um, this is for volume two, but I saw it in a lot of these. I got through Facebook auctions. Um, just very cool cover. It's called Journey with a J. Um, issue number one, but it is volume two. That's pretty cool. Some neat colors and just a just a great cover all together. Then we got a little Michael Turner, Michael Turner Soulfire. This is um, issue number four D. 
There's a bit of a, it's like, it's not a theme, but I mean, you can see what I love to collect in regards to covers. Uh, you know, beautiful colors. A lot of times there's beautiful women on there. Um, just like, that's fantastic. Okay. Somebody rolling by outside. And then um, I've got about another 12 or 13 here. Uh, I've been cover or been collecting dye since it, it started, basically. Um, probably four or five issues in, and then just had to go back and get the other ones. This is die 16. This is the A. Do, do, do. And a fantastic B cover. Look at that. Love it. I think it's a, it could be a Stephanie Hans B cover. Like, because she does a lot of, like, the Bs and C covers as well, so. And this is issue 17. I'm not caught up on reading them. That's why you can see that they are not taped up except for 16B because I'm just going to read 16A, obviously. Um, very awesome cover. I've seen, uh, I want to say Newbie Comics um, showed this book before and was happy to get it. I could be wrong there, though. Uh, anyways, I saw this at my LCS. And grabbed it for cheap. It's The End, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, The End, issue number one. That would look fantastic graded as well. Sorry, it will look fantastic graded at some point. Fantastic colors in this. This is Canto, The City of Giants, issue number two. Look at the colors. Uh, Canto. Couple issue number ones for uh, volume one and two. This is A Force volume one. Um, camera. I feel like this might be a variant though. Nope, it's not. Um, and I know that this has a first appearance. I just can't remember who the first appearance was. I meant to check before I say recording, but I just hit record and that's that. I actually prefer, prefer, can't even speak, the issue number one for volume two more though. That's fantastic. There is a variant to, I think, this run, the volume two. Um, that's a Stephanie Hans uh, variant, and it's phew, Stephanie Hans is amazing. Uh, Peach Momoko. So I'm not a huge peep. I guess I just I don't. I like some of her stuff. I don't like everything, and I tend to like. Uh, less than more, um, but when I do see one I like, um, it's done really, really well. And this is the Mighty Valkyries issue number two, Peach Momoko. I feel like there might be a virgin variant to this, which I would prefer to have, um, but obviously this was sitting there at my shop, and then I grabbed it. So, and I was talking to somebody uh, last night through Facebook, and he was talking. We were talking about dye a little bit, just because we're I'm looking for certain issues, and he's looking for specific issues in. Um, there's a, there's a Momoko variant that I didn't even realize because it would have came out before, I think, a lot of the hype. And, and it's going, it's actually like, you know, demanding a little bit of money, which is kind of nice. Not that I'm moving my die books, but um, it's cool when you kind of see just random variants start to pick up. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, this is a director's cut. A little bit of a thicker book. It's a very cool cover. Fantastic. I have, I'm going to show these just bang, bang, bang. Um, I bought these from a guy on, in one of the groups that I am in with, on Facebook. He was selling the, the three of them for pretty cheap with shipping. Um, it was only couple, coming a couple provinces away, so it wasn't that bad. Um, love the J. Lee covers. Two of the first two are J. Lee, and I feel like the third one is Phil Noto, but it's not like a great cover. Um, I want it for issue two and th uh, number one and two. This is Widowmaker. I should be holding this better. My apologies. There we go. Widowmaker number one. Love the purple in there. Just awesome. Issue number two. Again, Jay Lee, I like most, most Jay Lee stuff, but it, you, I can see why people wouldn't. Um, it's very unique. Everything is very thin and tight. Um, the faces are kind of small. Which is funny because Peach Momoko does the same thing with her faces a little bit. It's almost like bird-like. 
um, at least I find. And, and but I'm a fan of this, but not as much as the Momoko ones. It's like the slightest thing. So do do, and then yeah, this is the one. I do feel like yeah, this was a no, it'll cover, but oh yeah, yeah, that's what it shows right here. This is issue number three, Phil Noto. I'm a, I love Phil Noto, um, but I don't know this cover doesn't really appeal to me. So, but now that I have the first three, um, I'll have to pick up number four and just complete the set. Um, let's see, we have two books left. Uh, this is Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back. Um, this is the War of the Bounty Hunters number one variant edition, and it's a John Tyler Christopher of the Fett cover, it's a toy cover. Just killing it right now, uh, but very cool. I saw this at my LCS and just grabbed it as well. And I have one book left. Oh, this wrong. Ten minutes in. That's great. Um, I plan on getting. I was I was starting to put together this uh, volume two of Batman. I don't collect a lot of DC, and then I was like, I started slowly putting together a couple of the issues, not the early ones, which are the more expensive ones. And then I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to. I, I'd rather just get like the, because it's a lot about the art at the first, like the first like nine or 10 issues, kind of like with Saga. But there are some fantastic covers later on in this run. And if you have not seen issue 40, it's just this classic um, look to it. And there's a A cover, which I have right now. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and then it's just basically B, C, and D are just the same cover, but different colors, which a lot of you know it's like second third print fourth prints can be like that and normally i don't want to grab them but they all look fantastic with the different coloring so this is issue 40. and i just i love that it looks like it should be on a cover of like like eerie or something you know like a magazine uh style creepy or something along those lines that you would see like like frazetta like that like that era you know um and uh, it's just, I'd like to get the, I think there's, I feel like there's four of these covers, um, but, but just different colored. So, yeah, and that's it. So, thank you so much. Um, that is uh, the books that I've gotten recently. So it's a good little stack. I am going to hopefully be going live here in the next few weeks. I have a giant stack of books coming back from CBCS. I think that most of them should be coming back at the same time. Um, I've talked to the guy who I, I send the books away through. Um, CBCS is a little busy right now, so it's not coming back as quick. But he has got an invoice, which means things are moving. I've paid him, um, and uh, it's just about meeting up with him. I'm actually meeting up with him this Saturday to give him more books to send off. Um, so I'm just keeping a, a nice flow of books coming in and out. Um, and this is a good, like, if, if everything comes in uh, that I think is coming in, um, there's mostly PC, but there are some some really nice uh, books that are going to be going up for sale, too, um, you know, with hopefully some really good grades, because those are the ones I care about. The grades on the other ones I don't give a crap about. So, again, thank you so much. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing me soon. Thank you.